This is a USB portable microscope with a stand. I received this to review for free from the Amazon Blind Voice Review Program. If you wanted to buy this, it would cost you $30. Now, I was not paid for my review, and so my opinions are my own. So in the box, we receive the base for this microscope, the microscope um, upright and stand, a little instruction booklet, a little thing here with some calibration information on it, and the actual microscope itself, which is essentially a USB-C camera with some lights and this little standoff to get the focus about right. You have adjustable focus knob and you have a couple of buttons here to adjust the lights. So, let me put this thing together. So the stand can be adjusted by sliding this up and down and then for fine adjustment you have this little rack and pinion gear right here. The microscope is held in there by this screw. Um, it doesn't really like perfectly fit. It doesn't like snap in place. There's no thing, nothing that you know perfectly just matches up. It's just a ring that fits around the microscope and then this guy tightens down. So you get a USB-A to C cable here. So the device that you plug this into will have to have a USB-A port. So it's probably designed for laptops more so than uh, phones. Now, one little nit about the cable management here is they have a slot here that you can put the cable in to kind of keep it from rolling in the front. Um, but it doesn't like grab the cable, it just requires gravity. So if this cable goes up, it just falls out. So it's not tight enough to kind of physically grab that cable. But you can set the cable in there to kind of keep it out of the way. So the up and down maneuvers here, you know, it, it's kind of cheap plasticky, but it does work and it holds it steady enough so that your view is not, you know, shaking around while you're using the microscope. All right, so when you plug it into your laptop, it will not enumerate or do anything or even show up until you push and hold the power button to turn it on. And once you do that, the lights will turn on, the red light turns on, and your laptop goes bloop, 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 and says, hey, I've detected this new camera. I plugged this into my Linux laptop, and it just found it as a com USB composite input device. Now, the maximum photo and video resolution I'm able to get is 1280 by 720. So maybe this is because it's a Linux laptop and not Windows, but I am not able to get the highest 1920 by 1080 resolution that they um, advertise. So I placed a piece of paper down here with their little calibration target above it, um, and I've moved this guy basically as close as you can get it, um, and then you can focus with the knob, and that's your maximum zoom right there. So this little division here is 0.1 millimeter by 0.1 millimeter, so you know that's maximum zoom. And then you can pull the camera away from the target um, a little bit with this up and down knob. And when you, anytime you change the distance, you're going to have to refocus. And then you can change it a lot by moving it up like that. So I've found these lights to be very glary, and so when you're high enough up that room illumination will get in there, you probably just want to turn those lights off, maybe have another lamp on this thing, but maybe it's just because this is a um, kind of a reflective target, but this target, those lights, as soon as you turn those lights on, um, they kind of glare and reflect off this thing and kind of ruin your image. So in Windows, you just go to the Microsoft Store and you search for Unilab and get that, and it's designed for UVC microscopes. Okay, using Windows 11, I'm able to get the full 1920 by 1080 resolution. And I'm really liking the Unilab software here because you can set the calibration here and say, hey, I want to calibrate this guy using the provided ruler. You can say, okay, well, there's one millimeter, two millimeters, two and a half millimeters. So say this is about 2.3 millimeters. You type in 2.3 millimeters, hit OK. And now it has these measurement marks here. And so you can 
measure things with this microscope as long as you don't change the height of the microscope. Um, if you do that, you're going to have to recalibrate. So you can see here, um, between that guy and this guy is a half a millimeter, and it's pretty darn close. may not be exact, but it's pretty darn close. So now you can go in and measure things, like these grids here are supposed to be tenth of a millimeter divisions. And if we kind of line this thing up, we can say, okay, well, there's one, two, three, four, five tenth of a millimeter divisions is 0 0.5 millimeters. And then we can measure other things, like if we want to do a line from here to here, and it will say, okay, there is 1.5 blah 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 millimeters. So here I've moved the microscope as high as it can possibly get with this stand. Um, and when I'm calibrating, instead of being 2 point something millimeters, we have 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 and a half millimeters. And so if I were to look at a line from one side of the screen to the other side of the screen, that's going to cover 43 and a half millimeters. Or if I did a vertical line, that's covering 24 and a half millimeters. Now when I have this microscope all the way down touching the paper, it goes across about 6.8 millimeters by 3.8 millimeters. So that's your maximum zoom. Now also the camera itself has an outside diameter of 1.252, 1 1.250. So it might be a little bit of a tight fit, but it is possible to get this into a telescope eyepiece position for a 1.25 telescope eyepiece, um, possibly also a microscope eyepiece position. So I've verified with this focus knob, you can focus this and use it as an actual, just a handheld camera that can focus out to a good distance. So at the price point, I'm pretty happy with this little USB camera microscope. Um, it includes this calibration target, and with the Unilab software and Windows, you can do some real science with this thing. Now on Mac, it says just use the default photo app. It does work with Linux under the default Linux apps, but you're limited in resolution to 720p instead of 1080p. Um, you know, it still does an okay job, but I think with um, Linux, you're going to have a little less resolution there. So if you really care about the maximum resolution, you might boot into Windows and use this with a Windows computer. Um, it does not have an opening to have light come in through the bottom of a sample, so you're not going to be doing transmission through a sample. But other than that, um, as a little um, student microscope, it does require a computer, obviously. So, you know, you have to have a computer lab or a computer to use this guy. But assuming you have that, it works really well. Well, 